Hello and welcome to another episode of our JavaScript series. In this video, I'll be discussing JavaScript arithmetic. Let's start with JavaScript arithmetic operators, which perform arithmetic on numbers. We use the subtraction operator to subtract the asterisk as the multiplication operator, the forward slash as a division operator, the percentage sign as the modulus operator. I'll explain this operator in much detail shortly. And then we use the two plus signs to increment the numbers and two minus signs to decrement the numbers. I'll also discuss increment and decrement the operators in much detail in the next episode. Finally, we use two asterisks as exponentiation operator. Now, let's go back to the modulo operator, which is represented by the percentage character. This operator returns the remainder of a division of one number by another. For example, 8 mod 4 returns 0 because 4 divides into 8 perfectly without a remainder. However, 8 mod 3 returns 2 because 2 is the remainder of 8 divided by 3. Knowing the remainder of a division can be useful in certain situations. One such example of situations is when you want to determine if a number is odd or even. If the number is 0, the number is even. For example, 2 mod 2 is 0, so 2 is an even number. On the other hand, 7 mod 2 equals 1, which means 7 is an odd number because here we have that uh, 1 as the remainder. There are many other situations where knowing the remainder of a division will be useful. I discuss those in separate later episodes of this series. Now, in arithmetic, there is also what is called operator precedence, and this is very important because it describes the order in which operations are performed in an arithmetic expression. Let's take, for example, 10 plus 5 multiplied by 3. What is the result here? Is the result 45, which we will get by adding 10 to 5 to get 15 and multiply 15 by 3 to get 45 or is the result 25 which we will get by multiplying 5 by 3 and then get 15 and then add that 15 to 10 to get 25 which one is it the answer here is that when there is more than one operator in an expression multiplication division and modulo are calculated first followed by subtraction and addition but what if we want to add the 10 to 15 before multiplying we can do that but in that case we will have to put 10 plus 5 inside brackets and this will indicate what we want to do first so we know that in this example 10 plus 5 uh, multiplied by 3 uh, using the uh, operator precedence, uh, multiplication will be carried out first. So multiplication here will be, will be carried out first, but while that is the case, it is good practice to use around brackets. This will remove the confusion about what's going to happen first. And uh, if all operators in an expression have the same level of precedence, the order of execution is left to right. For example, in this, ex in this example here, we have 10 plus 5 minus 3. The answer is 12. Why? Because we start by adding 10 to 15 and then we close it off by minusing 3 from uh, 15. And now it's time to use what we have learned so far to complete a challenge. In this challenge, you are going to create a dog age in human years calculator using this formula. So with this formula, you are going to find out how old a dog would be if it was a human being. To complete this challenge, 
first create a prompt asking the user how old their dog is and then respond to them using an alert. So please pause this video and complete the challenge. Well done if you've aced it. If you didn't, it's okay. Let's go through it together. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do here inside the Chrome Developer Tools, uh, inside my snippet, I'm going to create a prompt. Okay. And then this prompt is going to ask the user to give us the age uh, of their dog. So, how old is their dog? So, we will ask them how old is your dog so this is what we will be asking uh, the user and then what we will do is that we are going to tie this prompt to a variable so i'm going to say var so the name of this variable will be uh dog age so dog age will be equal to whatever it is where will be provided by the user so whatever the age will be provided by the user will be equals to dog age so now the next thing i uh, just before we go ahead let me just put this to a test click control enter or this error let's check if it's working so here is that prompt everything is working fine we can continue now the next thing we are going to do we are going to create a variable and then as per the formula we are going to say human age the name of this variable is human age will be equals to uh, dog age uh, dog age minus two all right and then multiply okay here is that asterisk uh, multiply by 4 plus 21 like so then let's close this off next we are going to create a, an alert that we will use to respond to the user we'll say alert a, a pair of round brackets and then inside here we will respond by saying uh, your talk your dog is a uh, human uh, I should have used that plus operator to concatenate so it's plus uh, human age All right and then another plus operator All right Yes, old in human. Yes, okay. Then we close this off with a semicolon. Now let's go and run this snippet. Control enter. We have that prompt. Let's say the user says, Okay, my dog is three years old. Okay. They type in three and then they click OK. We respond to them and the response is your dog is 25 years old in human years. So this is how you'll create that uh, dog age in human years converter or calculator. And uh, with that, we have come to the end of our discussion of JavaScript arithmetic, focusing on the modulo operator. Thanks for watching and bye for now.